Howdy folks, welcome to my next video. Today we're going to be talking about Godot, the open source game development tool. It is and has become one of my favorite tools for building games uh, by far. I like it far more than all the others and we're going to be talking a little bit about how to export for Android because there seems to be a lot of questions about that so I thought I'd cover it in some detail today. Um, I'm just going to jump right in. The first step is to make sure that your Android uh, exporting settings are correct. Uh, these are going to be mine, but I can't really predict what yours are going to be, so you have to make sure they're the right values. So all you have to do is go to Editor Settings under Editor, and then down at the bottom, you can see all the way down here, you go down to Export Android. So as you can see, these are what I have feel free to put in whatever your values are. None of these things are going to be used publicly because you can't have debug builds uploaded to Google Play, as far as I know. Um, but make sure that the values for the ADB, the jar signer, and then these guys are all set to whatever you have them set for for your machine. Okay, now I, I'd like to go also to my project settings first and set my, if you go down to window here from display, and set my width and height to whatever I'm going to be using on a device. Um, you can have it be pretty much whatever you want. In my case, I'm just using that. Um, there's not really any anything special here. If you want to switch this to portrait, you know, if your game requires that, go ahead. I'm just going to leave these as is for now. And the problem we're trying to solve is you know, how to get the game onto your Android device as quickly as possible. Um, what you want is you want your device to be set up in developer mode. That's something that's important to remember. If you don't have that, you won't see this little icon up here, so you won't be able to export to Android. And there are plenty of instructions online for how to do that, so go ahead and go find them. I'm, I'm just going to skip them here. Feel free to post any questions you have. If you run into any troubles, I can help you down below. Now the first thing that I'm going to do to actually make this exportable has nothing to do with Godot. It's just creating a, a key file, a key store, so that you can actually go ahead and export it. Now, when I was younger, I used to do everything with a bash shell, but now I'm old and senile and can't do that anymore. So uh, I went ahead to shatterbox.com. That's shatter with a hyphen in between box.com and downloaded their APK signing tool. This thing is extremely powerful. It's really easy to use. And I really, really like how it's uh, set up. So this is what I use. And for this step, all we're doing is worrying about creating our JKS file. So first thing you do is you go find wherever you made your game, hit browse, uh, go find it, and save your file here. As you can see I've already got the key file name as the name of my demo in this case, .jks, and I'm saving it in the same place. Now for these things, you just gotta fill them out. There's, there's no other real uh, way to do this. I'm just going to be using default uh, values here. None of this stuff should be, ever be given away as far as I can tell. Um, if you give any of these values out, you can have your APK file hijacked off the Google Play Store, so do not do that. Um, you certainly don't want it to be crackable or anything like that. And this is the, kind of the first line of defense against that. This isn't going to be published, so I don't mind uh, if anyone sees these things. And obviously, it's going to be completely fake. Leaves 150. No, 100 is the biggest.
important thing to set here, aside from the build path, make sure these things are set correctly up here. It won't let you do this without it, but uh, you have to make sure you have this set to JKS. These others might be usable, but I, I haven't been able to figure out how to do that. Uh, and then all you do is you hit generate key file. This takes a little bit of time, but it goes through successfully. Um, for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to go to this one next, but I'm not going to use this yet. I'll show you how to use this a little bit. So the next step is back in Godot. Uh, we have it so that we have a, all the things we need to actually go ahead and export. All you're going to do is go to the Android icon, hit that, find your device, and click on it. Now, as you can see, this comes up with no runnable export preset found for this platform. What that means is Godot is not yet ready to actually export. So we're going to go to Project, Export. And as you can see, there's no presets here. So let's add one and hit Android. For the name, I find it doesn't really matter uh, as long as you have the uh, you know value that you know and understand is this. You want runnable to be on. Um, as you can see, you get a whole bunch of values here. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to update this to my package name. And we don't really have to do anything else up here. Now for release, this is what we want. This is actually our release key store. And you see it has key store files, but you can actually use your JKS directly for this. Okay, and release user, I don't think you need anything there. Um, but password, unfortunately this is not encrypted. This is why it matters that uh, I'm doing this for demo purposes and not publishing this anywhere. Um, this is just the password you used on the, on the APK signer tool. Um, you don't really need any of this stuff, APK expansion or anything like that. Um, something as a bonus, obviously you, can, you need to click on all the properties that you're going to use, but if you're developing with the Google Payments plugin, uh, they have a step where you have to input a, uh, a certain permission that you need under user permissions, and given what this looks like, it wasn't obvious at all to me how that was supposed to be done, so because these are all false and I don't really know what that means. Uh, but I figured it out and all you have to do is put in com.android.vending.billing here and that will automatically handle everything that you want. Uh, for the next bonus feature that we're going to talk about, if you're using a JSON file or really any type of file that's external to Godot as, for example, a configuration file, what you're going to want to do is go into resources and it says filters to export non-resource files. So these are things like, oh, as you see, JSON files or text files. So we're gonna just put in star.json here. We actually don't have anything in our project that's a JSON file, but just for the purpose of the demo, uh, I'll put that in so you can see it. And I think that's about it. Uh, let's go ahead and hit export project. Now the important thing here is to note to remove export with debug. That's okay for the purposes of throwing it onto your phone locally, but if you're going to do this for the Google Play Store, you cannot have it. I'm gonna go ahead and create a folder here. We're gonna name it exports. So we'll turn that off and hit save. Now we have the file ready, okay, and we're actually almost ready to go ahead and export. Something uh, that I forgot about actually was that when you uh, go to export, if you haven't actually run it yet, it will not have set the default scene. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just go ahead and select the one that I have. Uh, this is normally going to be like a splash screen or whatever you have up first. So you can see the app working. If you don't have this default scene set like that, the export will succeed, but the game itself will not run. So now if we go ahead and hit this, it will take some time and export. But once it's done exporting, 
it will be running on your device. And the size might not be what you're intending. So for example, mine, my device is 1920 by 1080 or whatever the, the setting is. And I have it set to 1200, or sorry, and I have it set to 1024 by 600. So it's actually only taking up about half the screen. So that's just clearly silly looking. Um, so make sure you play around with all the settings. Uh, don't don't get too frustrated. It's actually pretty uh, pretty flexible, and that's how you get it to run on your phone. That's not the complete thing though. Once you've hit the export, so as we talked about when you go to Project Export, and you have this here, and you hit Export Project, that's good but you need a one further step in order to actually upload it to the Android Play Store, the Google Play Store, excuse me. Um, so what you wanna do is go here, select your APK, so we'll go into there. Um, we've got a few keys here. I didn't specifically save my key back here, so we'll just go ahead and browse and go find our key there. That's fine. Uh, we'll give it what we put in before. And you just hit align and sign. Now the reason we're doing this is that in order for Androids or the Google Play Store, in order for the Google Play Store to actually accept a file, it has to be aligned and signed. Um, and that's pretty much it, actually. The file that you saw there where it says underscore aligned and signed, we can go look at it. Uh, this file here. You can see it creates both files. Uh, this is the file you're going to want to end up uploading to the Google Play Store. I prefer to rename it and just get rid of that and, you know, if needed, name my APK something slightly different and then make this the finished APK file. Um, overall, it's pretty straightforward after you've done this a few times, but uh, I think that should be about it. Uh, when, when running, make sure that things are sized correctly. You might need to set your, if you come down here and go to uh, window, you might need to set your aspect to like 2D or viewport. I usually do keep height um, for either of those. And everything should expand correctly be good for you if you do that and I think that's about it so good luck uh, if you have any questions absolutely feel free to post them below I will do my best to get to them and one thing I ended up forgetting to mention is if you end up uploading to the Google Play Store more than once make sure that you update the version code that's just in the settings for export you can find it pretty easily